why don't we play two more? So the Pioneer sideline, we decide we're going to go there. We got the highlights for you. Game one, it was Lautzenheiser out on the mound. And let's see how he fared here in game one. There you see Lautzenheiser, top of the second, a double to left center here by Larry for Notre Dame scoring two. They jump out to an early three to nothing lead. It didn't stop there for Notre Dame in the top of the second. Weaver, he's gonna rip a triple into right field, scoring three in this one. And now our Notre Dame going up six to nothing. As you can see, the runners running by here and Weaver gonna slide in to third base safely. So a triple for them, nine in the inning did Notre Dame get. However, the Pioneers would not lay down. Lucott slaps a seeing eye single up the middle. That one's gonna score two. And what Coach Lauren Torres said, get down, get down. He does get down. He's safe nine to three now. How about Dave Angle? This guy has been fire for the Pioneers since he's came last year. He's gonna rip a double into left field. Look at Lauren Torres. Wave him home, boys. Let's get him in there. The Pioneers get five. That's nine to five, six in the inning do the Pioneers receive. So a close one here. However, Tulio comes in late, pitched a magnificent game here in relief, but Pfeiffer though up the middle gets the error. Notre Dame's gonna score two and that's the way it would end. 12 to seven is going to be your final there off the air of Pfeiffer. 12 to seven, as I said, the Pioneers gonna drop five and nine. Notre Dame 13 and five, Pfeiffer three for five, had a great day with the bat with an RBI. Guys, let's talk about it. The Pioneers, again, in game one, still unable to get the victory. What is going on with this team in game one? Well, Josh, they're not scoring runs on a consistent level. They're scoring no runs, and then they're scoring eight runs, and then they score seven runs, but they give up 12. You can't win baseball games this way, especially against a top team like Notre Dame, a team that dominates the AMC Conference year in and year out. They're always in the upper echelon. Notre Dame's a dangerous baseball team. You need to pitch well. Obviously, with a pitcher like Cox at the top of the rotation, he's going to set the standard. But then the rest of the players need to file in behind him and continue to play well. But if you pitch well, you still need to score runs. Aaron, here in game one, it's usually been the starting pitching that has done well, and it's been the relief pitching that has really had the high ERA. But here it's just the opposite. Tolio comes in, pitches great, gives the Pioneers a chance. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what you can ask for out of your starting pitcher. You want to get uh, an opportunity to win the game, and that's their given there. Same as in game one of the first uh, on doubleheader on Friday, your starting pitcher only gives up four runs on 10 hits. Nine of those hits were singles, but uh, Point Park has just been unable to capitalize on opportunities given to them. They were uh, 12 men left on base on that first game in game one, and like, as I said, the game one on Friday, your pitcher gives you an opportunity, and Point Park just cannot capitalize.